ATL, are you ready for your first comedian tonight? Put your hands together. My man is originally from Memphis, Tennessee. He's been all over TV from Def Comedy Jam. He's been on, uh, I'm telling Eric, BET's Comic View. He was the, um, man, Comic Unleashed. He was one of the ringmasters for the Universal Soul Circus. Please put your hands together for the very talented Mr. Tony Llewellyn, better known as Tony Toe. Give it up, y'all. Come on, keep it going for Guy Tory. Clap. Guy Tory. ATL. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, that's enough, man. That's enough. All right. Give yourselves a round of applause for coming out. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love ATL, man. It's like the city of diversity, the New York of the South. You got every nationality here. You got black. You got white. You got Mexicans, you got Asians, you got Mexicans, you got Africans, you got Mexicans. It's <laughs> Boy, they just jumped the border. Come on, let's go take over Atlanta. We're gonna start at Buford Highway. <laughs> Ole! They don't have any English signs no more on Buford Highway. They, you run down Buford Highway, El Kroger. Is that Kroger? What the hell is that? What's, Where's that music coming from? You gonna need a, that Gwinnett County, that's Cancun. You gonna need a passport to go to Gwinnett County soon. Pack your bags, you're going out of the country. Let's go to Norcross. <laughs> Love the Mexicans, boy. Hard working race of people, boy. They'll never walk up and just beg for change. They will, they will build some stuff that, to that music. That's right, they will build a community in a day. Go to sleep one night, come up, wake up, it was a whole new neighborhood around you. That's what we needed for 9 11. That would have been a totally different day for September 11th, right? America, we have lost both towers. Oh, they're right back up. How about that? That's <laughs> and the third one to boot. A lot of, lot, of, lot of different nationalities, man. A lot of Africans go to the gym I go to. Yeah, a lot of Africans. Got a lot of Kenyans and Ethiopians, man. They make you look bad in the gym, too, boy. They be in there working out. Like, you know, I'm on the treadmill the other day. I was on there for like 25 minutes. Treadmill, 25 minutes. That's a long time to be on the treadmill. Like, yeah, I'm gonna burn some calories. <laughs> yeah. Little Ethiopian dude next to me had his shit set for two days. Flies, flies. <laughs> Let me stop. Maybe some Africans here tonight. <laughs> that this blue shit. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Who has blow darts? Ah. Like you said, beautiful, there are beautiful women here. Women are off the chain. Yes, they are. What a married man. Married man, make some noise. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that was screams of pain. Easy to get married outside of Atlanta, ain't it? Easy to get married in like Kansas and Nebraska. You be all happy, I do. Get to Atlanta, what the hell did I do? I should have waited, good Lord. Women here so fine. Fellas, you ever seen a woman so fine make you want to take her home to meet your wife? Hey baby, come here, look. <laughs> come on, come on, it's all right, look, look at that, God, man. Oh, look at, make the ass clap, make it clap. Make it clap. I like having fun in life, man. I'm old school, like I said, I love old school music, man. Like we lost the greatest, the greatest entertainer ever, man. Michael Jackson, man. I, that's, I'm still, yeah. I'm still hurt about that, boy, old Mike. Man, Mike was the joint. He died now, he did die too early. Now that's dying young right there, 50 years old, that's dying young. You know, some of y'all been to funerals before where somebody always, want, always feel compelled to say that, oh, he went. He went too soon, you know, he was 104. <laughs> Took some of my years, he should <laughs> it was overdue, you know. But man, Michael, 50 years old, now that is dying before your time, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, imagine him walking through the gates of heaven all early, throwing all the other 
pass great comedians and, and singers off. You know, they were just over there chilling, and Michael come walking through the gates early. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm here. First person probably seeing is probably like James Brown. He was over there practicing his moves and stuff. <laughs> oh, come on, like, uh, sliding around. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Michael. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> I be goddamn. Michael, the king will pop up here already. How the hell you get up here, goddamn it? <laughs> See, you came here right after you died. It took me eight months to get up here, goddamn it. <laughs> this one bullshit right now. This one bullshit. This one bullshit right now. Right now. this goddamn shit. Hey, you know what? Hold on, Michael. Hold on. Huh? I got some other, pe other people want to meet you. Hold on. Hey, hey, Bernie Mac. Hey, Bernie, come here. Look who's here. Michael, what the fuck you doing up in here? <laughs> you ain't supposed to be in this motherfucker. I ain't supposed to be in this motherfucker neither. I'm telling you something right now. I'm getting up out of here. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Who you with? Kick it. I ain't scared of you, motherfucker. Michael, oh, I got some more folks. Hey, hey, Red Fox. Hey, Red, come here. Look who's here. Uh, uh, what's wrong with you, Jane? <laughs> Over here trying to get some rest. Uh, you making all this noise. Uh, what you want? Hey, sorry to bother you, Fred. Uh, look who's here. It's the king of pop. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I'm coming to join you, honey. Uh, uh, wait a minute. I'm already here. Uh, Mike, uh, you ain't supposed to be here now. I was hoping uh, you'd make another song uh, so I can do one with you. If I didn't care. I'll see you later, Mike. Uh, wait a minute, hold on, Mike, hold on, one more. Hey, Ray! <laughs> hey, Ray Charles, come here, look who's here. Ray, stop bumping into shit. What? <laughs> How the hell are you still blind? You in heaven. What kind of blindness is that, man? Uh, uh, don't bother me right now, James. I was back there trying to rest. Uh, what the hell you want? <laughs> Uh, uh, look here, Ray. Uh, I don't mean to say look, but uh, um, <laughs> uh, you won't believe he was here. Uh, the King of Pop, Michael Jackson, up here in heaven. Uh, uh, you gotta be out your goddamn mind. Uh, at last, I heard he was doing a tour called "This Is It." Well, that was it. He's here now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, lovely, lovely. Man, before I go, man, I got to talk about something I saw earlier today. I saw a, a good old public ass whipping. I had to talk about it, because that's something you don't see a whole lot of anymore, do you? Kids getting their ass beat in public. Not back in the day, how many people remember getting their ass beat? Everywhere. <laughs> Bus stops, church, school, grocery store. That was the scene of my crime. Oh, I got my beat in, I got my ass beat in the grocery store almost every Saturday morning. On a crowded Saturday morning, people three aisles over heard my head get smacked into the can goods. They <laughs> came over there and find me crying with cream style corn going down my face. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is why we got the grocery store ass whooping. We got the grocery store ass whooping because we all wanted to be big boys and big girls and push the grocery cart all by ourselves. And you messed around and hit your mother in the back of the ankle one time too many. That was a guaranteed ass whooping right there, right? Oh, yes. And I was a stubborn little boy when I was growing up, man. I, you know how it is with us fellas. We started, we started smelling ourselves early, started feeling like we were tough. So my mother told me to go in there, go in that bedroom, wait, I'm going to come in and beat your ass. I'm like, all right, all right, I'm going to wait. But you know what? I ain't going to cry. If I don't cry, mama, she'll stop because I can taste mama's licks. That's right. Now, I was a soldier for the first couple of licks, right? <laughs> <laughs> now you're trying to anticipate that next swing. <laughs> she hit you that last time. That's the one that just broke you down. <laughs> Y'all remember that? Oh, that was nothing. That was nothing. I tried to run. Where my runners at? Where the runners? Come on. I know we tried to run. 
Oh, we thought that was the best plan ever, right? Man, why not think of this before, man? Mama, oh, mama can't run. Mama got fluid on her knees. <laughs> mama got diabetes. See, we thought mama was old. We ain't know mama's like 28, 29 at the time. <laughs> when you six, seven, and eight, that's old. Man, a lot of things we didn't know as kids. We didn't know that long legs were better than short legs. <laughs> we took 50 steps, your mother took five. She right there on your ass. Matter of fact, your first 10 steps, she back there stretching. Mm, let him go, I get him, I get him. Mm. He do this all the time, I get him. Man. And she pulled the chin strap down on her wig and take off. <laughs> let me tell you something. This ended up being the longest ass whooping I've ever taken in my life. From the first step I made, it seemed like everything just turned slow motion. It didn't matter where I ran. It didn't matter how hard I ran. That strap kept popping my ass. I'll never forget it. It was a cold, cold December Sunday. A football Sunday. I felt like a running back. Thank you very much, Atlanta. You're up in a great crowd. I'm Tony Tone. Thank you. Let him hear it! Tony Tone, Tony Llewellyn.